Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back with another spike guide. So I did one way back when I started my channel and then I did one like a few months ago that was kind of like so far in my opinion. So after the 2k push, I think I'm overdue for one. Um, I got a lot of good info so make sure you guys stick around for everything but make sure first off you guys like, subscribe and comment and yeah let's get into the guide okay guys so i know 90 percent of you already knew this but we're doing the full guide so spike is a high dps squishy brawler he's pretty much a glass cannon and he plays really good into tanks mid-range brawlers and um not so good into throwers or long range brawlers that's pretty much later on i'll go into like counters and who he counters but that's pretty much the general consensus with spike so his main attack um without the fertilizer star power it breaks into six different directions it's always the same pattern um but i'll do that later in the video as well with gameplay but each uh, spike does 728 and typically you'll hit around like 1400 if you connect with a full spike ball sometimes a 2k Alright, so Spike has two star powers, and the first one is Fertilizer, which is the community favorite. Second one's Curveball, which everyone kind of hates, but it Loki is pretty good too. So Fertilizer, you just want to play into tanks mainly and mid-range. Um, maps that are more open, and you can kind of like keep track. It's like really matchup specific too. Um, I think Fertilizer definitely you can carry harder, but curveball it's more like chip and annoying so if you know you're playing against like double tank poco or something like that or like anita lane like any mid-range brawler pretty much besides max um i would always take fertilizer personally as you can make a lot of cool plays with it and it's just like a lot more skillful and it's really rewarding when you hit those rngs okay next up we have curveball as the second star power and you just play this one when you're too tired to play the game no but curveball it's good for checking bushes and the long range like poke matchups also like brothers like max where it's really hard to hit them and like just keep them chipped it's good into those as well so pretty much on like long range maps where odds are you're gonna be like you're gonna need like a lot of poking like matchups like gene like brock like anyone like that um and then also on grassy maps just because the rng pattern is pretty predictable and spike doesn't have the fastest reload speed unfortunately so when you throw out a few shots and you know they can correctly like just dodge them with fertilizer you can get snuck up on really easily but fertilizer or curveball sorry is a lot harder to dodge so you will obviously get like more consistent damage at range with curveball so for spikes gadget it is called popping pincushion i literally had no idea i just had to look at it and i'm very surprised by the name and a little disappointed too um speaking of disappointed i'm kind of i'm not really a huge fan of the gadget just because it's so like I don't know it doesn't add anything like super interesting to them so pretty much what you want to do with it and where you'll get the most use out of it is in siege if you have fertilizer and you're on defense it has a really really high potential damage if you can get like all the spikes to hit which is really hard but um siege usually on a weakish robot you can pretty much solo it if you have fertilizer up and you just like go on the inside and you hit 5k every time also works really good on the high safe um also since I was pushing my spike with Bobby on Gene, obviously. I found out that it pairs really well with Gene Pull. So even if it's someone like super tanky, like Frank at full HP, if um, your Gene does get a good pull and you're there with your thin cushion, um, it'll just like burst through it really hard, combined with your like regular shots too. Um, so there's just like little plays like that you can do. Besides that, um, just fertilizer and run up to like a Rosen or something, try getting in the hitbox. If they're smart, they'll stay away. But um, it's mainly used in like Siege and Heist, I guess. Okay, so Spike is honestly really versatile and during my push I could play him pretty much anywhere. The only mode where I would not recommend Spike is Bounty just because he doesn't do too good into long range brawlers. I mean, if you think they're going like double tank Poco or something, maybe, but even then it's really dicey and I just try not to play him in Bounty because you can literally play him anywhere else. So for his best mode though, I got Brawl Ball and historically I think there was a point where gem grab was at one point but it's pretty much been brawl ball since like the inception of brawl ball so it's a lot of congested maps and tanks to mid-range so he plays really good into most of those except for like surge right now which is just super toxic but he's fine into like gale max with curveball and obviously like all the poco tank comps he's really good in two as well so i think brawl ball is definitely his best mode right now so in Siege, he's really good for mid control as well, and he's honestly a really slept on pick. The only thing that you have to watch out for is throwers, which are probably his biggest counter in my opinion, besides Surge right now. Um, so 
play your matchups right if you do get a thrower if it's like barley and they don't have medical use then you can kind of like chip them down sometimes but it's gonna be like really tough and you all honestly just want to stay on like one of their mid-range or tanky brawlers because usually like every comp has a tank so just try to follow them around and you know on defense you're gonna be really useful same with offense you can get a lot of good value with your super on both sides playing field and in mid of course um so just definitely try him in siege it's kind of matchup dependent but i think he's really solid in siege so right now in heist besides the whole gale jumping in thing when there is no gale typically mid control is really valued and you just want to like keep a lot of pressure so spike's actually really good at this and if he does get alone on safe either like with a gale gadget or he just like manages to win his lane and sneak by they cannot leave him alone there he will do so much damage with his gadget especially if he's like uncontested he can hit like 4ks with his regular shot too or even 5ks i think you just have to aim it properly um so he just has such high threat for taking out their safe um decent mid good mid control good defense uh but he does get countered a fair amount in siege and you know he is really like vulnerable to throwers and stuff which we see a lot of in siege and like rocks stuff like that so he's definitely like matchup he's matchup dependent like everywhere but i think he's also very viable in heist as well okay next up we have gem grab for his fourth best mode um i didn't bother listening showdown or duo showdown i'm not too knowledgeable about it it's gonna be a 3v3 spec guide but um gem grab it definitely used to be his best mode for a little bit but the meta and the maps have completely changed so the lanes are pretty like long range on the open maps and on the close congested maps it's kind of just like a mix of everything right now with like mr p which counters spike and um you know max which he doesn't do too too good into all the time carl he's like decent you can win that matchup for sure but i think gem grab is one of his worst modes right now um and he just doesn't his gadget gives him like no value in it either so sometimes depending on the match and like the map you can use like curveball but i think there's like pretty much always a better pick than spike okay and his last best mode is bounty like i said just don't play him in bounty you can play him lit literally everywhere else um if you think they're going poco double tank maybe but i just don't play him in bounty like 99 percent of the time okay guys let's get into who counters spike who he counters and who he goes even with so for counters we have tick sprout barley dynamite sandy piper brock rico b surge and penny um now this is just a general kind of list of like who i feel like after you know for penny it's like when the turret comes up with sandy it's like pretty map dependent but i feel like the sandy matchup's really good um i won't get into all the specific ones you guys can kind of like get the basis it's like long range throwers etc and then a few odd ones but those are just the matchups that i really don't prefer playing as a spike especially like throwers and like super long range so for who spike counters we got rosa primo frank bull daryl bb ems nita shelly poco tara so again you guys can kind of see like a pattern some consistency uh all the tanks pretty much spike does really good in the tanks and then the mid-range brawlers for the most part um typically he does beat like all the ones i listed obviously map dependent this is just a general idea of who you want to play spike into all right and then for even we have gale leon crow mr p max gene nanny mort pam carl Bo. 8-bit jesse and colt now for this one i mean some could be argued as countered and like some that who he counters but i think just generally these matchups i don't mind playing and you know they're winnable you just got to play it right and obviously it's map dependent like everything and comp dependent but i think those matchups for the, you know like overall they're pretty like decent okay guys so first off we're gonna show fertilizer um or just no star power I'm laying a little bit but that's okay you guys can see the set pattern um so also shout out to rookie tezel jake ashlyn s of course big shout out to her uh phil and then who's the okay that's actually everyone um it's late and i can't count apparently so the set pattern for um fertilizer or no star power it is gonna go in six ways every time two um at the top that go like diagonal two at the bottom that go diagonal and then two that go horizontal so that's never going to change it's always going to be like that um so you can kind of get used to the break patterns okay ashlyn s come here 
So typically like the easiest RNG that you want to hit, as long as they're not like paying attention, is just like top left like that or top right like that. Now if they're hugging a wall, hug, hug wall Ashlyn Ness. Okay, Ashlyn Ness is hugging the wall, then you just want to go like that or like that. Um, but people usually like pick up on that, so you want to like mix it up sometimes. Go a little further down to the left in the grass, so you can go like that. Oh, where where are you? <laughs> you can go like that. There she is, and then you can also go like top right there. But you want to like mix it up sometimes. You'll go like that, and then like a sideways one, and like something like that. Um, so that's typically like what you want to do. You want to play around with it. I'll play around with it in a sec, but I also want to show you guys some ones that like not a lot of people use. So you can like go over there. Um, if you want to just throw them off, they're like dodging really well, then you can get like the top left, like, well, oh, okay. Not that one, but you can like wall break early and you can see like the left one will go up. Um, and that also works if you're like aiming down here or you can also go like right here, Ashlyn. So you can aim at the wall just to like break like bottom right, something like that. You got to get your angles right and it's not always like consistent, but you can just play around with it a lot. And obviously I have so much time on spike, so I'm getting kind of like pretty good at hitting those ones intentionally. It's using them in like tournaments. So we're going to like do a little 1v1 and you can try your hardest. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, and we're just gonna show like how to use oh, she's, okay she's starting early apparently so we're gonna choose or show how to like dodge and okay starting now <laughs> so you can just go underneath that's the easiest way to dodge but you don't want to do that every time you want to mix it up so you can see i'm kind of like weaving in and out and when we're doing that we can like hit her with a full one and you want to get position obviously and you just want to like kind of wait it out this is like spike 1v1 like 101 so if you guys see spike 1v1s on my channel, <laughs> I have a pretty good track record with it. So I'm going to go for top right there and I'll connect and she's getting kind of low right now. So we'll see if we can get her with that one. So it was kind of close. Uh, she's going to pop her fertilizer. It's good for us. We can just wait it out a little bit. Maybe we'll go aggro here. Ashlyn us get out of the bush. We're just going to be patient and she got a little aggro. So we'll go for some shots. That was actually close to breaking on us. I'm back to the mid. Okay, so let's see. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna start without us and yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll <laughs> take care of her really fast. But you guys can kind of see like what you want to do. Sometimes you want to mix it up, like just go for like a left and then a right or just like miss both completely and get hit by hers. But it's all just practice and you know, I feel like if you want to like get good at hitting them, you have to like get good at dodging it first. So you can kind of like get in the mind state. So the easiest way, obviously just going underneath and you can go like diagonal, um, stuff like that in between. It's not always going to be perfect and you got to judge it properly. Ashlyn S is also just one trick spike, right? So she's hitting them all on me and I think we'll get her right there. But you guys can kind of like get an idea of some little tips and tricks that you can use in your own games. Okay guys, so now we are gonna go over dodging curveball and hitting curveball. Hitting curveball, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So typically what you wanna do is, if you know, obviously always go for like the full hit with your spike ball, but if you can get it as close as possible to where it breaks, then most of the time it will hit. So there we actually hit the full amount, but um, you wanna get it like really close to them so they can't, oh, look at Ashlyn that's dodging it perfectly, okay. So you want to get it close to them so they don't really have enough space to dodge it. And, you know, sometimes you just want to spam wide and just hope for the best. And, you know, it can push them into like other shots just like that one there. Um, but typically, if you want a safe way, so we'll show you how to dodge in a sec. You do want to just like go close to them so they can't really dodge it. Okay, now we're going to go into the difficult part, dodging. And even I, like, I can't do it consistently or perfectly by any means. So here, give me an easy one. Just shoot it like right at me. Okay, that's a little further back. So you can't go close to where it breaks. So you want to like just kind of, okay, I'm, no, I'm too close there. Um, you want to kind of break with it. So I'll try going to the side because keep going. So you can kind of see you want to just like roll with it and you can't go close to the middle. You got to go like where it breaks. So now we'll go under it. It's kind of like awkward angle a little bit just because of the distance and we're in the bush. But you guys can kind of see like what you want to do. Um, I'm not really good at attempting like up here. Just keep shooting where you're shooting. 
but you can kind of like get the idea of like what you have to do obviously like this one it's not too practical but you can see like how the pattern breaks now if i try going closer and dodging like it's not going to work it's going to hit me for 720 even if i like, do it most of the time you know it is going to connect as long as like you need a few tile distance to like do it consistently just like right over here kind of um and then you just gotta like kind of roll with it so i mean it's not 100 percent guaranteed and most of the time honestly your best bet is just gonna be to um just stay like max distance and hopefully the spike runs out of shots or you get lucky and you're like at max distance or close and the further you are away from it the easier it is to dodge just because of how the pattern works so we're just gonna have fun curveball 1v1 now and see how that goes i'm sure ashlyn okay she's giving us no time um let me regen and then we can go at it ready He's giving me no time. So obviously we don't have fertilizer, so we gotta be careful here. Um, but we are getting her pretty low, that one should hit. Oh, I shouldn't have teach her how to dodge. All right, so we're actually getting a pretty good job at dodging each other, I'm gonna get her though. Yeah, so, you know, your super doesn't heal you, obviously with curveball, so you gotta be careful of that. You do wanna keep your distance most of, most of the time, and it is mainly just for poking. Um, there's not too many interesting things you can do with it. I mean, I don't think I'm like fully qualified like I am with fertilizer with curveball. It's pretty straightforward. Just, just keep your distance if you can and just like poke down. Um, and yeah, the gadget, it actually used to go in the curve pattern, but now they changed it and it was really good in the curve pattern. You can make some cool plays with it. I like that part of it. But um, now they changed it, unfortunately. So it's not cool or interesting anymore but hopefully this guy this helps you uh dodge a few of those curveball shots i, I know it's not perfect but it, it's something and you can just like work on it yourself obviously you can see i'm getting hit by so many so <laughs> we're just gonna end the curveball section here right when i die good timing <laughs> Okay guys, so that is pretty much going to sum up my spike guide. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything. I tried looking for other guides and this was pretty much as in-depth as it gets. I covered like all the essentials with spikes, showed you guys some cool tricks. Um, big shout out to everyone that helped out with this video, especially Ashlyn S. Um, as well, Phil, hold on, let me let me get the proper list. Uh, Rookie, Tezzle, Jake, and Phil, thank you guys so much for helping with the video. It, meant a ton and it was really useful um especially that curveball part i think you guys can all learn something from there i still need to learn it but um yeah i think that is gonna do it for my 2000 trophy spike guide um hopefully you guys love playing spike it's a really cool brawler besides curveball um but yeah let me know what you thought of the guide if you guys want more and make sure to like and subscribe and comment as well Anyways guys, that is going to be it for today's video and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace!